In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do a sample size calculation for a linear regression model. What we're fitting here is a sample size calculation for the overall model fit. To do this, we're going to use the power package or PWR package, which you'll have to install and pull out of your library. And this is the command we have, power F2 test. And we've got some information we need to give. The first thing is U. U is the numerator degrees of freedom. This is the number of coefficients in your model, not including the intercept. So this is essentially the number of predictors that you want to have in your model. So in this case, I'm going to have four. Then we have V. This is the denominator degrees of freedom. So this is essentially N minus U minus one. And I'm going to leave this as null because this is the thing that our power calculation is going to calculate for us. And once I've got the denominator, it's relatively straightforward to work out the sample size. Then we have our SIG level, so our critical level P, which is 0 0.05 in this case. We have our power, the level of power we want. Usually this is just 80% or 90% power, so 0 0.8 to 0.9. In this case, I'm going to do it to 0.8. And then the last thing it wants us to put in is F2, which is our effect size. So you're probably not familiar with this as a measure of effect size. But it's really easily calculated because all it is is your r squared or the estimated r squared divided by one minus this r squared so it's quite straightforward to do and i'll show you how you can incorporate that calculation to your formula as well in a moment but we just need to put our estimated effect size so i'm going to say in this case it's 0 0.10 so we can run that and here's our output so you can see it's got everything that we put in before However, now it's got estimated V. So this is the estimated denominator degrees of freedom. Now, we can get our N from this because we know V equals N minus U minus 1. This means N is simply V. So what we've calculated here, 119 plus U, which is 4 plus 1. So this is going to tell us the number of participants we need. And if you need to use a calculator for this, you can just run that in R. And we need 124 participants. So we could also, for this F2, we could calculate based on some R squared, some previous R squares or your estimated R squared. So let's imagine in this example here, we have we our did R squared is 0 0.08, so it predicts about 8% of variance. So what we can do is we can create an object called mod F2, call it anything you like. So it's 0 0.08 divided by one minus 0 0.08. So that calculation I referred to there. So we can click that object. And then in this example, I have fed the object we've made into it instead. So we can run that. And in this example here, we've got 137 again just remember it's going to be 137 plus 4 plus 1 and that's how we can do a very straightforward sample size calculation to fit a linear regression model